So it's just really nice to be out tonight, folks. There's been hell on at work. Um, one of the private patients was on the table and the money ran out. So the surgeons just uh, down tools and said, suit yourself. Hi, it's Graham here. I've been lucky enough to get myself out on another wild camp. I'm on the route of St Oswald's Way, one of the long distance footpaths from Northumberland and about halfway, yeah about halfway, there's a bothy on St Oswald's Way but not a lot of folk get to stay in it because it's normally locked but that's where we're heading now So this is going to be our Christmas bothy So for all the walking it's quite short, it's been quite tough because we're all carrying a lot more gear than normal Poor Silky Nicks <laughs> lumped a, a huge bag of logs over by himself and I'm on all the peas. I've got pudding, parsnips, port and a present because we're doing a secret Santa. I can't tell you who it's for in case he overhears. It's for Silky Nick. Very, very cool bothy, isn't it? Is. Look at the stove. It's going to keep us warm. Super. And that's Sean's, is it? Yeah. <laughs> that's the lover's room. Because it's uh, kept locked most of the time and you've got to book this buffy, uh, it's, got, it's got facilities other buffies don't. It's got a fantastic uh, two cookers in here fed by a big red colour gas bottle. So that's where we're going to make our Christmas dinner. So even though it's a really big bothy and you can fit 20 or 30 people in there easily, there's loads of bunks. Um, I'm going to camp outside. I've got my DD ultralight top and I've got the Alpka Elan bivy underneath. Uh, I'm going to put my winter bag in, my Mountain Hardware Phantom Flame and I think it's going to be cosy. It's going to be great. I'll be able to hear the wind, um, look at the clouds, look at the stars if it gets brighter and um, I think it's going to be mint. It's going to be great stopping out here. One of the fine gentlemen I work with makes chutney and he brings, brings a, a big box of like chutney and jam and, and slow gin in every year for everybody to have a, a, a jar or a little bottle. So This year I've got some of Dr Whittle's famous cheeky chutney. Now this is Christmas chutney. So this is the second best chutney I've ever tasted. It's good stuff. Mine's better of course. Three, yeah. right. um. 
So Sean is on and in the kitchen cooking. We'll find out what he's got for the main attraction. Sean P, what are you cooking? We've got pheasant breasts with seared and onion stuffing wrapped in parma ham. We've got pigs in blankets in loven. Yes, Quiggers making a nice bit of mulled cider on the mm -hmm. stove top. What's in your mulled cider, Quigs? There's some just plain apple cider with some tea bags or something or some spices that Sean's thrown in. Some tea bags? You mean well, the spice bags? Spice bags, yeah. And Sean's chucked in some whiskey that he has and he said flasks. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but... On one of our last videos, I went up into the Cheviots to look for black, the remains of Black Rory still. What I didn't know is that you can actually get Black Rory whiskey. Here it is. A lad called uh, Decker Coombs, he got in touch and he, he, he very kindly offered me this when he saw the video. So I'm going to try some of this Black Rory's whiskey now. I'm going for a coffee and um, just what a, what a nice lad he is. Nice fella. That is much better than the stuff Black Rory made, I imagine. That's really nice. So the young lads have been in the back and uh, they didn't cut this tree down. It was already like a broken off branch. And they've, uh, they've, they've done a Christmas tree. Look at that. And we've got a secret Santa presents underneath. This place is getting very Christmassy now. But I have to say, that candle there looks proper dodge. We're going to have to be careful it doesn't uh, set the whole place I had. At least that one's in a jam jar with a top. So you might have heard us uh, say this tale before, but when I, a few years ago when I brought the Cub Scouts up to this Bothy, uh, they were eight years old, that you know, most of them had never been away from the parents and they had a mile walk in with a rucksack and um, it, you, know, you know, it can be a spooky old place, the Bothy, especially the bunk rooms at the end. And uh, I made the mistake of making up a story about the Durgar to the Cubs and telling this really spooky story. And I really over-egged it and some of them were crying sideways tears and were absolutely inconsolable. But one of them's come back. A couple of times. A couple of times, not just the first time. Quiggis, how do you feel now about your spooky story? Still a little bit wary, but not too bad. <laughs> I'll still... Look at this, folks. We've got mash, we've got honey parsnips, we've got peas and carrots, we've got pheasants stuffed with sage and wrapped in parma ham. We've got sprouts and chestnuts. We've got a bit of bread sauce, Yorkshire puddings, gravy, and I'm going to put a bit of cranberry sauce on. Not a bad bothy dinner. I'm, I'm going to open my secret Santa now, folks. <laughs> Graham, Merry Christmas from Santa. So, I've had a bit of a feel and I've got no idea what this could be or who it's from. Hmm, Personalised gifting. Ha <laughs> ha! Very cool. Not all those who wonder are lost. <laughs> and it's got my little measures and a pouring funnel. Thanks very much Santa, that's really cool. Oh, and it's got whiskey in it. Well, I think it's whiskey. Hell's teeth, what's that? It's slow gin. Slow gin, which narrows this down. It's <laughs> Who slow it's from. whiskey. Slow whiskey, slow whiskey. Very nice, yeah. This narrows it down a lot. Thank you very much Santa. Silky Nick, what oh, did he get for Secret Santa? I got a very nice, uh, well, where is it? It's, it's a camouflage bibby. I've got a camouflage bibby. Can I see it? It's a camouflage bibby. <laughs> and a very nice, a very nice, a very nice hip blast. Hi folks, it's after midnight now, so I've just getting into me bivy bag and it feels nice and cosy now. And I can hear the wind kind of whipping through the trees around the bothy. Uh, Sean's not too far away and he's Durston and Silky Nick's actually taking himself uh, into the woods 
uh, with, a, with a hammock. The other lads are in the buffy, but I'm going to listen to a Sasquatch Chronicles podcast and um, have a sip of that slow whiskey that I got from your Christmas Santa, and uh, I'll see you in the morning, folks. Good night. Morning folks, what a fantastic way to sleep last night. I can see why Mountain Hot by 57 loves his bibby so much. I just felt um, really cosy, protected, but in a bivy in a tarp, just more connected to the outside world. It was just uh, amazing. Just listen to the sounds of the night and uh, the wind give the trees voice last night and just drifting in and out of sleep. Listening to that was just fantastic. And that sunrise this morning, just amazing.